but somehow people still vote in Democrat, even though they're nutsos, even though they're lost, they're not with us. And speaking of somebody that's lost and not with us is Joe Biden's wife, Jill Biden. So the first lady, Jill Biden, used her appearance on ABC's The View to join co-hosts in peddling the fear of what might happen if her husband, incumbent Democrat President Joe Biden, were to lose his re-election. Now, just listen to how this psychopath phrases this whole thing. But I know, I have met him a couple of times. He seems right on top of it. I said to him yes. last time he was here, yeah. do you work out? He said yes. Yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, every okay. day. What do we, what do we have? I have always made this joke for those that are longtime Bald Brad show viewers. I told you Joy Behar gets all hyped. Yeah, no, he exercises every day. Oh, yeah. No, he's sharp. Can we just play that over again? And it just shows you right off the bat the nonsense of the view. Yeah, he's sharp. He's with us. But I know I have met him a couple of times. He seems right on top of it. I said to him yes. last time he was here, yeah. do you work out? He said yes. Yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, every okay. day. What do, we, what do we have to do to tell people that the man is competent, alert, and doing the job? And it's not about his age. The other one is doddering yeah, and doesn't right. remember yes. anything yeah. and can't put a sentence together and has, and has like brain farts in the middle of a, of a paragraph. <laughs> and, and they go after Joe. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't mean the cuss, but that is Joe Biden that you just described. The gaslighting from this show and these women is unbelievable. Everything she just said about Joe Biden can be attributed to Donald Trump and everything she just said about Donald Trump is attributed to Joe Biden. It's completely ass backwards. But you know, I don't, this is, this election is not about age because like you're saying, I mean, Donald Trump's going to be what, 78, 78 yeah. and yeah. Joe's 81. They're basically the same right. age. Right. So, Some, but it's about character. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Nobody believes that, Jill. Holy crap. Can you believe the cojones there that, uh, <laughs> I, I'm so at a loss right now. That, that, that Joy Behar is telling us that Joe Biden is fit, he's there, he's well off. So here she is again, here's Jill Biden, says that her husband never screams at anyone, even though there's been multiple reports from White House staff, and we've seen on camera, we've sat through speeches of him just yelling at all of us. Here we go. Uh, Donald Trump will gaslight, he overtalks, yes. there are no guardrails. So, he stalks. It, yeah, well, yeah. I happen to believe it's really important mm -hmm. more than ever to have a debate with guardrails. Uh -huh. What is the strategy that uh, the president has going into this? Any tips you'd have for a debate that we could pull off where we could actually hear our candidates? No, they built that in where they're gonna turn off those mics yeah. so that somebody can't ramble okay. at, or scream at somebody. At, you know, not that my husband would be the one doing that. No. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's well. already been negotiated. Right. And, you know, I think, but I think the American people deserve a debate mm -hmm. because you need to see your choices. You need to see Trump and you need to see the president and you need to see the differences. And my husband's, and you're going to see how smart he is and the experience he has. And then you'll see somebody who, like you're saying, I'm going to use Joy's words, Go can't ahead. put a sentence together. Right. And everything is beautiful and it's wonderful. Tremendous. Big yeah, yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous. Yeah. Isn't that insane, you guys? That Donald Trump can't put a sentence. The guy sits there and performs in front of like 100,000 people. That's a little egregious, but you know, like 15, 30,000 people, 50. For hours, he stands on that podium. Your husband doesn't do that. We just watched him say, I want to build a $60 zillion bridge. I mean, we have nothing. Don't make me, you know what, we're fucking doing it. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. Now, you know, you're damn right. Now I'm going to it. No, I'm going to the receipts. They're going to sit there and tell us that this guy, I didn't even have this queued up. This is how quick we are, boys. I, this guy is sharp. You guys tell me, here's five minutes of fucking Joe Biden rambling and dripping into a damn drip tray because the guy's head isn't on straight. Anyway, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna, well, maybe choose my words. I was just thinking, uh, uh, the, Anyway, but I, I just look, I mean, put 
Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, yeah. It was in February, February, no, January after we been elected. The late in early, early February. It just keeps going. It's buffered again. You guys, it's five minutes. Five minutes of this guy not having his head on straight. But they're going to sit there and be like, he doesn't scream at anybody. He's sharp. He has stamina. He, he doesn't fumble through his words. He's he's so sharp. He knows everything that's going on. Okay, I mean, it's it's. I know you guys don't believe him. This is freaking insane stuff. And so she's going to sit there and gaslight us even more and go, well, if he's elected president, he's going to sit there and basically remove all your rights. If Joe Biden's elected president, yeah. If Donald Trump's elected president, no, we'll actually probably get some of our rights back. So here she is lying once again, just like her husband. But we cannot take things for granted yes. because they can. And think of the Supreme Court. Yeah. Oh. For God's sake, oh. talk about things getting worse. Yeah. Can you imagine if we put any more Republicans on the Supreme no. Court? No. No. We're we will lose all of our rights. So we're talking about women's rights, gay rights. I mean, we will lose our rights Voting and rights. freedom. Voting, Voting rights. rights. Voting rights. Yes. All Voting this rights. is up in state. You're going to lose all your rights under Donald Trump <laughs> as if he's never been president before. Holy crap. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.